Hey guys, today we're going to continue fixing uh, the drive shaft on Matesh's car. So, last time we removed the U-joint, we measured it, and we found out what size U-joint we needed. So, Matesh got the new U-joint for us. We got the front piece of the drive shaft here, and we're just going to tuck in the U-joint in there with the caps off. It slides in really easily. So then, we tuck one end in and slide a cap over it. So I'm going to use the hammer just to tap it in. Now that that's in, it's not going to fall out. We put it one on the other side. And you just want to make sure that it's, uh, it goes on nice and straight. That So the needle bearings in the actual cap doesn't uh, fall out or get fucked up. Yeah, so we're gonna hammer these in. We don't want them flush, they need to go in a little bit more. So now that they're flush here, we're gonna get that socket I used in the other video. We use it to hammer them out, we're gonna use it to hammer it in. So now that's in, there's a little lip in there where the snap rings go in. So once we got that clear, we wanna get our snap rings. Now this U-joint that Matesh got, it came with multiple size snap rings, I guess different thicknesses, depending on your application. So we're going to go with the, uh, I guess the middle sized one. The one that's most similar to what was on the U-joint. So these go in pretty easy, just got to use a pair of pliers squeeze them and just get one side in first and then uh, push down on it once it's in there you definitely want to make sure that it opens back out and it's not being still squeezed in because you don't want that snap ring to pop out while driving. So now that the clip is in there, when we hammer on this side of the U joint, the snap ring is going to prevent the uh, us from pushing it out too far. So we could hammer a little bit harder on this side. Once you could see the groove in there, you should know you hit it enough times. So now that that part's attached, the U-joint's attached to the front part, you're gonna get the rear part of the drive shaft. And then it's basically the same thing over again. So we tuck it in. We're gonna start with one cap. in so it doesn't fall out make sure it's lined up nice and straight because you don't want to force it in crooked sometimes they go in nice and easy now we just got to get our uh, Snap ring again.
And the trick is that the stepper doesn't move down, just tap it down. Eventually it'll snap in place. Just like that. Now it's time to install the drive shaft. You gotta line up the front to the transmission. They got a splines in the inside of the shaft. So we just gotta keep rotating it a little bit so they can line up. Oh, there you go. It's in now. Oh, I gotta take this nut, nut and bolt out real quick. So we'll take it this through. Now that the dry shaft's lined up, we got a six nut and bolts that we gotta connect here to connect the drive shaft to the guibo and then the guibo to the diff catch all the threads put the rest of the bolts in now we get uh tighten them down You could do it by hand or with a big guy. Now that the drive shaft's in. Next is the exhaust. get this in then we could drive it to see if we actually fix the problem this is my first time driving an SC since August It's flashing. That's because it's LED, so LEDs flash faster than I can see. Or oh, the, the the resolution on the camera is not as high. Uh, My resolution, uh, frame rate. And, uh, Mitesh came by to look at the car right after we filmed the video, and he ended up driving it home, and he confirmed that he, he no longer felt the vibration. So he did a successful job by replacing the U-joint. See you on the next one.